Hi you guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. It's always a pleasure for me to have you in my kitchen. Today I am making traditional soup jumu. It's, um, it's squash soup that I've used to make this particular soup. It's used, every, we make it every January 1st. So you guys, please go home into the kitchen with me and enjoy how I prepare this soup. And I hope that you will be able to replicate it as well. Love you guys for watching. Thank you again. And I hope that you will be able to enjoy this tradition with me. Now, one of the most important part in this recipe is the meat. So let's take the package. I'll go to your butcher, choose a nice cut so you can do this. And um, the, the, the cut that I chose is the part that has the marrow. Okay, so if you can see that, that's really important in this particular recipe. And we're going to season this up, guys. Cut them up completely. This is how it comes. It looks like a steak, but it isn't a steak. Okay. Right now I'm washing it with vinegar and limes, and I'm going to rinse it off. And rinse it off, and then I'm going to start seasoning it. It's completely seasoned, and it'll be waiting until um, I'm ready to cook it. Then I have the cow feet here. Um, this is going to take a while. You boil this as well. I'm going to wash this with some vinegar and lemon juice, but I will not add any of the seasoning. The only thing it's going to be boiled in is just plain water. Because when you add any salt or any kind of, you can add um, ingredient herbs, but no sodium to this. Otherwise, it will take forever to cook. All right, so I'm going to wash these and I'm going to put them away. I just put my meat in the pot and um, now... We're going to just put that on a low simmer. I just put two cups of water in there and it's going to cook. I also have on the side right here, this is the beef that um, I just have some um, chilies, the red things are chilies, some fresh garlic, thyme, and that is it. There is nothing else in there and no salt. Remember, do not add salt. This is going to be on a very, very low simmer and forget about it. Okay? So the meat right here is starting to come up to a boil now nicely. And then we're going to cook this until for about 45 minutes. The other, the beef feet, this is going to cook um for like a good two to three hours this you can like i said boil it let it go and forget about it okay so this is our first step to making our soup so the next thing the what we have here are our squash okay this is the butternut squash and this is a Another squash, I purchased it just as such, um, half with it covered in um, a clear wrap. That's how they sell them in the store that you can choose the inside. Because the purpose of the soup, the basic, um, what you want is the taste of the squash, but you want the color. You want the color to be a nice golden yellow. So it should mimic this color here, the soup. And um, that's what we're looking for. So... I never use butternut squash. I always use this one. And honestly, I bought three. I bought another, the green squash, the little short um, green squashes that um, I didn't know if it was good or not um, when I bought it at the store. So I asked the lady who was buying, and I said, listen, I said, um, I noticed that a lot of Haitians were purchasing this. I was like, but I'm used to this one and the green one. She said, what do you think? She was like, well, I noticed I'm buying it because I just noticed that everyone buys it and they say it's really good. So I said, you know what? I'm going to buy all three. I get home and I don't see my other squash. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know where it's at. I've, um, the house is completely turned inside out, completely cleaned and a lot of things were thrown away. So um, I know that wouldn't be thrown away. But Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to start peeling our squash, okay? So you want to peel your squash. So I'm going to peel this completely, okay? And then I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then the next thing we're going to do is um, I've completely 
peel that and you're gonna just scoop out scoop all of this out okay and this is not a pumpkin okay so you cannot use pumpkin for this recipe no it looks like a pumpkin but it is not a pumpkin okay so what I have done for this part here all I did was I just went around and I removed the first layer that's what you want to do um, just to make sure you get in a the nice fresh flesh of this okay so you just wanna if you buy them already cut like this you just wanna cut around as well and then you're gonna see how um, you know you'll see the difference because it'll be dry when you get it but when you carve it straight you'll see how um, good it is so let me finish carving it um, peeling it and you'll see what we're gonna do next and I've cut these in sections to make it easier for me to peel so with my butternut squash as well this side is the side with the seeds okay so you're just gonna cut it right down the middle <coughs> and scoop out and do the same thing the top part doesn't have any seeds this is the easy part okay and the only thing I'm gonna do now with this is just to throw it in some hot water hot boiling water and I'm gonna let that cook down until it's nice and fork tender it's like if you were cooking potatoes you want it to be nice and fork tender like if you were making mashed potatoes it's the same thing this is the same consistency that you want with um, with your squash okay so I'm gonna clean this out you guys and we're gonna start putting it in some hot boiling water Chopped up my squash, okay, and now I'm putting them into some water, and we're going to boil it. Like I said, we want them to be nice and, and um, for, um, fork tender like you were cooking mashed potatoes. It don't take as long, okay, but we're going to puree this. One of the things I usually like to add in my soup is parsnip. Parsnip is the vegetable. It looks like a white carrot, but I forgot to buy it, but that's okay. You don't have to add it. It's okay. I, I don't eat it. I just buy it just to put it. I put it into my soup for the taste, and I know that they usually sell um, the soup packets, it has the um, it has all of the soup um, ingredients in there, the dill, it has the potato, it has the onion, it has all of those, um, the, what, what is it, the potato, it has the um, parsnips, it has the carrot in there. So if you see it, it's already packaged for you. Go ahead and start up your soup. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. Okay, just one teaspoon and I'm gonna cover it and that's it let's leave it in this should be ready for like in about another 20 to 30 minutes between 20 to 30 minutes it's gonna be perfect and you really want it mushy because we're gonna puree it like I said so um, sometimes it breaks down that's perfectly fine but we do put it through a strainer so um, just let it um, come up to a boil and let it cook this is what it looks like okay so like I said you want it to be nice and mushy like a nice mashed well nice and smooth like mashed potato so the longer it goes who cares so even if you had it on for like over 25 30 40 minutes you know what look at this look at that I like it when it goes and it cooks really well down because then I have less work to do when it comes to I could you could either put this in a blender but I'm gonna use my hand mixer for this particular process and then I'm gonna put it through a strainer I'm gonna put that down so I'm just gonna puree it and this goes um, done like I said 45 minutes don't overcook it because you want them to stay whole and you can see the beef feet that's in there you see it's nice and fully cooked fall off the bone okay 
you want it to be like that that's good it's still whole you can see it's still whole right there now we're going to mix this up and then we're going to pour our puree so what i'm going to do now the puree is completely and nice and smooth can you see that i'm going to put it through a strainer okay you've strained your squash you're going to add it to the meat i'm not making a sauce so i'm not adding any tomato paste to the meat i'm not making it turn into a sauce so now um, the puree is inside of the meat and now we're going to chop carrots as i have done here i have my carrots this is taro root okay and this is your um, turnip so i have a couple already that i have already cut up so you need your turnips, you need your taro root. If you don't have taro root, honestly, forget about it. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to dice up some potatoes, of course. You need your potatoes. I'm going to be cutting up, um, washing up some potatoes and dicing them up as well. So let's finish dicing and then add this. We're going to be adding them as we um, cut them, add them to your soup. Okay, so I put the carrots in. Now I'm going to turn the, um, put the turnips and my taro root inside of my soup, into my soup. They are all in. And now we're going to get on to our green, um, herbs. Okay. Right here we have cilantro. Okay, if you can see this is not parsley, this is cilantro. Okay, and we have dill. So with the dill and the, um, cilantro and the parsley does it gives your soup that distinguished flavor okay now some people just use the celery and if you notice these three um, ingredients these three herbs and veggies they um, all pretty much have that same taste to it and that's what you're looking for in your soup so if you were to drop this into your soup right now it would be a mess um, as well as your cilantro and your um, your uh, the leaves of your um, celery. I'm going to use these. So what I do is I make it into, I boil mine first, okay? So I'm going to boil them together and make it like a nice tea. And then I'm going to strain it and then I'm going to put it inside of my soup. Let's get to it. I'm going to wash these first. Wash them very well. And then I'm going to put them in my soup. Okay, this is what it looks like. I have it um, on a low simmer, okay? And then I'm gonna strain the water only and I'm gonna add it to my um, soup. Um, I wanted to go back to the potatoes with you guys because I just wanted to let you know that you can use any type of potato, okay? You don't necessarily have to use um, golden or um, um, russet. I'm gonna clean this off so you don't know what you get in the back. But you um, you can use any kind of potato. Um, and it honestly, there's no difference. So you can just chop it up. I have about like 10 to 15 potatoes that I'm gonna pet. Um, it's a lot, I'm making a lot of soup, okay? So we're gonna just, um, I just wash them. I'm gonna peel them and throw them right into the pot. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna add are our radishes. I'm gonna take these out, wash them, and peel them. This is the worst one. This is what I don't like doing. And I'm gonna cut up some cabbage. We're gonna take them leaf by leaf. And we're not gonna shred them. And I'll show you how we're gonna cut this up. These are, it's 15 radishes in here, but you can use more. I just don't like cutting them, um, peeling them. But use 15 and I have a cold. I don't feel too good. So you know what this will do? 15 is perfect amount. We're gonna throw it in our soup. For the cabbage, you're just going to peel it, okay? Remove the first um, layers, throw those away, and then um, we're just going to cut them. Okay, can you see how I've done this? I've taken them apart, and then you're not, it's like a rough cut, so it's not even, it's nice, you just throw it in, and now we're going to put that into our soup, we're going to add that to the pot. Okay, you see you're not putting a whole bunch of celery in it. I mean, not celery, a cabbage. Okay. Just going to stir it in. Oh. All right. Next chapter. Bread just came out of the oven. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. It's hot. 
I'm about to make my second batch because I have people coming over and I'm going to be sending some to my neighbors. Okay, let's get the noodles into our soup now. What I'm going to add now is rigatoni. This is about two cups of um, rigatoni pasta. And I am also going to be using some spaghetti as well to put into the pasta. But this is a big pot, okay? So I have a really big pot. Okay? So I'm going to wash this and put them in. And then we're going to add that much. Not too much. Drop it in. And we're going to turn off our flame. That's it. This off, just cover it, okay? And it will cook. The pasta will cook. You don't want it to be mushy. It will cook. So turn it off. And this is done. And then we'll see it back in about 25 minutes. Last. Now we're finished. Cover it up. It's ready. It's done. You see that? See the noodles that I left? So this is done, you guys. Like I said, you don't want to... Um, see, my noodles, they will stay whole because you don't boil it, you don't cook it. You just gotta, you throw them in to the pot, you turn off your fire. Okay, and this is ready. So let's get this plated up, you guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Get a little bit of everything in there. Some beautiful carrots the beef you guys please make this you will not regret it it's delicious it's so tasty and it's beyond your wild imagination okay guys so this is it I've plated it up add some celery as well I forgot I um, did chop up some celery towards the end right before I um, put my noodles in so chop up about two to three stalks of celery in there and then um, let it rip, you know, and it'll be amazing. The flavor is amazing, you guys. You're going to love this soup, this traditional soup that we have every January 1st. And don't forget to accompany your soup with your bread, you guys. Nice and delicious and warm. You guys, please, thank you again. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've made it. Everyone makes their soup differently. But in essence, you know what? We all have our soup jumu, our squash soup, every January 1st. I love my tradition. I hope you guys will keep your traditions in your family. And you have a wonderful and blessed New Year. Happy New Year, guys. Love you guys for watching. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe again. And share. Bye-bye. Hope you've been affected.